All right, Dinwiddie and I were here earlier this year and we did the top part. But if you watch that episode, there's a great big iceberg <laughs> running through here. You see this brown dirt versus the clean rock? Well, it was sitting right where this brown dirt was. And uh, yeah, it's blocking some of the best part of the hole where people swim. So here we are. And I have my first signal. I'll dig it up and uh, show you what it was. Well, I thought it was probably a nickel. Sure enough, looks like it's been in there a little while. So that's the other thing too, you know, sometimes the waves and things will move the rocks. And so even though I've hit this a million times, you'll come back and things will have changed enough that you'll find things you didn't find in previous years. Plus, you know, people do uh, drop things over the swimming year. So let's see what we can get. Well, I skipped showing you a bunch of clad, but Hey, there's a key. So I have a booming eight right here. And it's a ring. How cool is that? Let's see what it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. kid strikes gold, baby. Yes, he did. I can tell just by looking at that. That's going to be a Black Hills gold ring. So generally, these are all 10K. And the leaves are 12K. I will look for a mark. How cool is that? So, like I said, we couldn't get to the this area because there was an iceberg. So we just came and we're going to just do a quick sweep. Battled through a little clad and some junk. And there it is. A little foil sand. Yeah, it does say 10K in there. How sweet it is. And to make it even better... Gold's at an all-time high right now. Well, I am hunting with Dinwiddie today, but we split up, so let's check in with him, see what he's got. Dang. That's old looking. Yeah. Well, so is the other thing that went with it. They were both in the same hole. Dang, that's neat, man. There's his chain. <laughs> Now wait, did you dig a minus or did you dig a no? This a silver tone. This was a silver tone. This was a whoops. I see. I think I just dropped the chain. Yeah, that's definitely it, a silver it pendant. It sounded it's... like a dime. And oh. That was with it. Wait, so you had two things? <laughs> two things in the same hole. Oh man, that's a sweet little piece of silver. <coughs> Did you actually see him say sterling on there anywhere? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't cleaned him up enough, but. Oh, well, I'm pretty convinced. <coughs> Seeing how everything else is rusted, and I don't know if they're part of a bracelet or a necklace or what. Good job, man. Yeah. Let's get some close ups for these guys. Yeah. So, you got a high tone here, and it looks like whatever it is, it's in this concrete. <laughs> Let me see if I can bust a loose. I guess I should, <laughs> I guess I should have just flipped it over. There's uh, some sort of a bolt hole there, so nothing that cool. <laughs> you don't see that all the time, though. So, I think I just got a 1956 Weedy. I think that's the last year. Just a baby. I can't believe what I just found. Look at that. Harmonica reed out of nowhere. Dang. I think I found the top to a ring. That would have been quite the chunky little ring if it was still uh, intact, but I do believe it's uh, some sort of junk metal. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I guess I got thinking about it, and 56 is definitely not the last wheat penny. And this one proves it, 1957. Thinking it was, I don't know, 58 or 59, whatever. We got two. Let's 
keep going. Well, I thought we'd check in with Dinwiddie. Looks like uh, it's got a little eagle's pendant pin thing. It's a pin, yeah. It's just a stick on the back. It's got some kind of writing. I don't know. Let's see. It wasn't too deep. <laughs> well, it looks like a little piece of jewelry. Don't know off what. A little flower. Not sure what it's to, but that key looks a little bit older. All right, so that's a 51 Weedy. So, man, plenty of wheats all of a sudden. Maybe uh, we'll get into Silver Dime or something. Wouldn't that be nice? So I was getting this teeny little eight sound, and it's like a talon with a skull on it or something. And it's not marked, but I think that actually might be sterling. Isn't that an interesting little piece? <laughs> I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Sorry, I'm having a hard time holding it so you guys can see it. So this one isn't cleaned up, but I just found a second one. I wonder if I'll find a bunch of these, because... You know, if it was like a bracelet or something. These charms might have just flown off there everywhere. Neat. There's number three. Man, I hope these are silver. That'd be cool. Yeah, there's four. Five. Man, they must have come off a chain or something. Uh, hopefully I'll find it. I don't see it. I haven't heard it. Six. Nice, you got me a little earring. Boy, that really looks like it's gonna be silver, doesn't it? Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I love this Equinox, man. It really picks up some small stuff. You put the small coil on. Right now I'm hunting in beach too, which is what I hunt in the most often, even in a park. Seems to really get the small stuff. Dang, I'm doing good on the little jewelry today. Tell you what. I mean, that's probably going to be bling. But hey, you dig enough of them and eventually they're gold or silver. Let me see if I can find them. How about this? If I find a mark, I'll let you know. Well, this is an interesting little piece. This is how I found it. I did fall apart interesting definitely some sort of little piece of jewelry dang didn't we? he just found a really cool button it's definitely a two piece I'm wondering if that was like I'll have to look it up but I wonder if that was like British military or something Definitely got a crest with some lions. That's awesome, man. Well, I just grabbed a 1953 Weedy. Where's the silver? Come on. Yeah, 65 Canadian. I'm pretty sure the Canadian ones go all the way to 67 or 68. Yeah, it sounds like silver on the machine. And yeah. but some of them are. A lower percentage I think one of them's like 60% like the last year yeah. and then the last year is like a half year so half of them are and half of them aren't but I'm pretty sure that one's silver good job buddy yeah thanks well I had a little eight and I see something oh huh, it's a little little heart pendant thing that had me going for a second I saw that gold that's definitely bling. All right, let's keep going. Another wheat. I don't think I'm going to get a date on this one for you. I'm going to keep going. That's pretty crusty. Dang you, Dinwiddie. <laughs> it's my turn today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Silver quarter. Boom. Good job. Thanks. Well, look at that. Right on top. Nice little crystal charm. That's gonna be bling. I know Dinwiddie's gonna be jealous of this one. Look at that. Boom. 
Dang, then he just found some weird India coin. Feels like aluminum. <laughs> Probably is. Coins are getting chintzier. Now they're starting yeah. to make them out of steel. <laughs> well, one day that'll be real. Today, it's bling. <laughs> Let's keep going. We just dug four spikes out of the same hole. Oh, Dinwiddie's never got a barber before. My first one. Congrats, man. Thanks. Been looking for that for two years now. Oh, yeah. I gotta get some water on that. I'll get you some clean up pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, after digging those four spikes, I dug like, I don't know, a total of 10 or 12. So Dinwiddie went up onto the grass and that's where he got the barber dime. We were thinking, man, maybe there was a little homestead in here somewhere. Anyways, it seems like it was almost a lucky strike. Like, we haven't really found anything else, but I just did find this flag pin that says Manitoba. <laughs> Never wear out. So, that looks like a little uh, suspender button. Man, I just found a Model T key, I think. How cool is that? Definitely gonna be one of those older ones. Look at that rainbow. You guys know what that is? I don't. It's fancy. Yeah, no clue what that is. It says USA Chester. It's kind of a snap though, not a button. I just dug one of these uh, heads you win. Lose tokens. In case you can't see it, it's a it's a nudie. Awesome. I think I got one of these here, same kind of thing last year. All right, that was a couple of fun nights. It was a few nights after work, just a bunch of short little hunts strung together. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be doing these. Uh, low water hunts the water should be coming up here pretty soon but we're gonna nail them as often as we can see if we can get some more gold rings anyways hope you enjoyed it see you on the next one